So many moments, so little time. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 WTF Gemma Collins moments. Take a good look at this. You ain't ever gonna get this candy. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're taking a look at reality TV star Gemma Collins' most outrageous moments. Number 10, her stint on Splash. Who'd have thought that watching celebrities learn to dive could be so entertaining? Better, much better. Gemma Collins appeared on the second season of this short-lived show, ready to strut her stuff. She admitted she was no Jane Fonda, but bravely took to the diving platform anyway, ready to go for gold. While she did eventually manage to execute a half-decent dive, however, it wasn't without consequences. In a pre-dive interview, she revealed bruises from her rough and tumble training sessions, and frankly seemed pretty relieved when she was voted off the show. Number 9. Her epic Good Morning Britain entrance Gemma Collins never misses an opportunity to make a grand entrance. So, when she was asked to appear on Good Morning Britain, she pulled out all the stops. Good morning, Britain! Collins emerged from a tunnel of light and smoke to the tune of Destiny's Child Survivor, dramatically shedding her coat before saying hello to the show's hosts. I've got my cue card, lovely. I've got an earpiece, I'm ready yeah, for action. Ready the smoke continued to ensconce the room long after Collins had found her seat, to the continued quips of Piers Morgan and company. If she rolls out this level of pageantry for an appearance on GMB, we can only imagine what her wedding would look like. I know this show is hot, but this is ridiculous. Again. Number 8. Are you calling me a diva? Gemma Collins and reality TV go together like fish and chips, so it should really come as no surprise that she popped up on Celebs Go Dating in 2018. I'm really looking forward to this. I mean, I know I'm going to be a bit late, but this man's so going to appreciate my effort. I mean, look at me. Well, unfortunately, she got off to a rocky start after arriving late to a first date. Despite apologising for her tardiness multiple times, Collins' date seemed uninterested in making amends. I'm skimp, mate. <laughs> There's no money from me, I'm afraid. Ah, uh, well, not put me marrying you, then. Things reached a climax when she told him it was a woman's prerogative to be late, and he accused her of doing her diva bit. This proved too much for her to handle, as she immediately got up and left. Do you know what, honey? See you later. Take care, my love. You're off. I am. <laughs> Number 7. When she called out Jason Gardner When we think of Gemma Collins, elegance isn't the first word that comes to mind. And yet, Collins and partner Matt Evers made it all the way to week 6 on the 11th season of Dancing on Ice. <laughs> However, that does not mean they made it out unscathed. After a performance set to Diamonds Are a Girl's Best Friend, Collins received harsh criticism from Judge Jason Gardner. Gemma, I know you were channeling Marilyn, but we ended up with Anna Nicole Smith. And that was because there wasn't, there wasn't any elegance. Never one to take an insult lying down, Collins quickly clapped back, accusing Gardner of selling stories about her to the news. Can I just say one thing? Maybe if you didn't sell stories on me, I wouldn't have been so upset this week. <laughs> The exchange then devolved into a war of words, with Gardner calling her a brat and Colin shouting boring over and over. Now that's good telly. Don't sell is, stories is on me. Some, do not sell stories on me. Right. Number 6. Her time on I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here Gemma Collins' time on I'm a Celeb was short-lived, with the London native lasting just three days in the jungle. It's only a few more days. Only it's the... not, though. It's three weeks. Collins infamously refused to ride in a helicopter with the rest of the cast, freaking out while it was still on the ground before demanding to be taken off. Okay, no, can you stop a minute? I'm being serious. Stop. I need to get out. Honestly. You need to get out? Yeah, I'm going to be sick. Things only got worse for her as well, as she manufactured excuses for nearly every aspect of the show's production, from the treatment of the cast to the food they were served. In the end, it all proved too much for the celeb, with Collins becoming just the third person in the show's history to last three days or less. I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. Can't do it, I have to go. Number five, her designer lady parts. Gemma Collins is just full of surprises, and one of them was revealed during a bikini wax on The Only Way is Essex. I actually pride myself, like I'm mega confident here because I know I've got a designer vagina. I've not told you this, but I paid 2,000 pounds. It turns out she spent 2,000 pound on a designer vagina. And according to Gemma, it now looks like something you'd see on a movie. 
it looks like something you'd see on a movie. Co-star Bobby Norris was appreciative, comparing it to a new penny. Her decision to undergo the procedure would later serve as the basis for one of the greatest Gemma Collins quotes of all time, when she told the world, I am as I am and I ain't gonna apologize for it or make excuses about it. Kiss my designer vagina. So I devout. <laughs> <laughs> Number four, when she went fishing. We've already established that Gemma Collins and the great outdoors don't get along. So, when she agreed to go fly fishing for an episode of Sugar Free Farm, entertaining television was bound to ensue. From the moment she enters the water, it's difficult to imagine someone looking more uncomfortable in a relatively safe situation. She nearly takes out an eye with her fishing attempt, gets her lure stuck in her arm, loses her hat in the wind, and to top it all off, ends up in a hole. <laughs> in Ultimate Gem of Fashion, she ends the segment by asking if they can just go to the supermarket instead. Number 3. When She Sang Big Spender Name a UK-based reality TV show, and chances are that Gemma Collins has made an appearance on it. Hi, I'm Gemma Collins, uh, best known from reality TV and falling off a stage. In 2018, she lent her vocal talents to all together now celebrity special, with wildly unpredictable results. So let me get right to the point. I don't pop my cock for every guy I see. Collins' rendition of Big Spender had the crowd and the judges in a frenzy. By the time she was done, everyone was on their feet, cheering their hearts out. Yes! However, of all those in attendance, there was one person in particular that Collins was dying to hear from, Spice Girl Jerry Horner. Much to her delight, Horner was quick to praise her performance, calling Collins amazing. Not too shabby. You were amazing. I'm so proud of you. Thank you, thank you. Number two, her Sky News appearance. Gemma Collins sat down for an interview with Sky News' Kay Burley in 2016 to discuss the dictionary's unflattering description of Essex girls, which it described as unintelligent, promiscuous, and materialistic. We're up for the banter. But it is very, very derogatory what has been said about us, and it does need to be changed. Despite Collins' sincere desire to affect positive change, the interview quickly became comedic fodder for the general public after the reality star claimed she was a massive fan of the dictionary. The dictionary, which I'm a massive fan of the dictionary. She went on to call it a historical British thing, effectively undermining her entire argument with a rambling speech about the importance of the dictionary, which, honestly, was never up for debate. Like, it is such an amazing, like, historical British thing, isn't it? Mm -hmm. But for them to write that about us Essex girls, we are not happy. No! Number one, the Radio 1 Teen Awards. Last but certainly not least is Gemma Collins' infamous appearance at the 2017 Radio 1 Teen Awards. In attendance to hand out the award for Best TV Show, Collins stole the show, though not in a good way. Radio 1 Teen Award for Best TV Show is... After announcing Love Island as the winner, Collins turned to leave the stage, but instead fell into a trapdoor that had opened to reveal show contestants Amber Davies, Jamie Jewett, and Marcel Somerville. While they were quick to come to her aid, we imagine it did little to stem her embarrassment. The whole debacle was caught from multiple angles, ensuring that this hilarious, if accidental, GC moment will live on forever. This is life! This is what happens! Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo UK, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.